sounds like crazy tech. You know, we got a company making cargo ships that are autonomous and they're sailing, so they don't need fuel. I've seen these guys. What, what's their name? Laid on Robotics in Seattle. Okay. And these guys have all the tech working to make a boat sail itself across the ocean. But the day that, right, it sounds like crazy tech. It's, it's the lowest tech thing we do. But that the day that first ship sails, there's no technical risk anymore. Like it's moving containers. Anybody who can move containers can get paid to do it. That's a $2 trillion industry. It's as big as software, just shipping alone. The day that ship sails, no more technical risk. There was never any market risk. I've got a $2 trillion industry. So do I sell that to Maersk or do we build the next Maersk? And when you look at the history of successes in Silicon Valley, one of the things we learned we don't fix industries. We replace them with startups, right? That's, to, you know, Uber replaced the taxi industry with a startup. Airbnb replaced hospitality essentially with a startup. Facebook replaced media with a startup. This is what we're doing. So why would we go after those piddly little industries? Let's go after the big ones. That's deep tech. That's what I'm trying to convey to, to the... So one, if you're an investor, I think you're missing out if you're not aimed at the bigger problems in the world. If you are a founder, you're missing out. You could be building something. Look, nerds all want to build cool shit. They want to build robots and, and reactors and rockets like I do, right? But now the money's in everything else. And then three, so, and I, you know, what I think is like, if you're just working in your career, like, why would you build those things when you could go build cool shit? So that's what I'm trying to convince people of with the book. It's like, hey, you could also build cool stuff. Yeah.